Welcome to Envision Update 3. In this video, we'll explore all the new features, including thousands of new high-quality assets, AI material generation, and realistic water. Let's check it out. You can find the new assets by going to our website and clicking the Cosmos section, then Explore Assets. This takes you to cosmos.chaos.com, where you can browse the entire Cosmos library. To filter the new assets from Evermotion or Globe Plants, go to Creators, then Vendors. We'll select Evermotion and see over 2,300 new assets in this update. The number of assets will vary by your license tier. When browsing categories, you can also identify assets by the Evermotion or Globe Plants logo. The other way to find assets is inside the Envision Asset Library window. Now move to the top left-hand corner. Clicking the button opens the library. The left-hand pane can be scrolled, minimized, or expanded into a floating, dockable window. Now let's use the in-app filter to look for globe plants. We'll go to Select Category, then Creators, Vendors, and select Globe Plants. We have over 1,300 new assets here. To place one, I'll simply pick a bush and drag it directly onto this preset Chaos Scatter asset. And there you can see the quality of the new globe plant models. To access the AI Material Generator, go to the Asset Library, click Materials, and select Generate at the bottom. Upload your photo. You can manually adjust the pattern or select Smart Pattern. This tool analyzes the image to create a seamless pattern. Adjust the size and rotation, then click Apply. Next, in the Settings tab, I'll set the resolution to 2K, enable Preserve Colors and Make Tileable. I'll adjust the normal map strength to 1.5. Now, click Generate. The AI will create the material. I'll select my wall object. Once complete, it generates all the necessary maps, the base color, albedo, normal, and roughness. Click download and save the file as brick wall material. The material is saved to your downloads folder. With my object selected, I can apply it to import it directly into the Envision project. You can see the high quality, AI generated material here. To use the new realistic water material, select your base material, go to material type, and choose water. This provides several built-in presets, pool, lake, and sea. Each option has unique settings ready to go. You can fine-tune the presets by adjusting the wave intensity scale and the crest width. There are also dedicated controls for wind and precision adjustments to control the level of detail and sharpness of the water. Currently, wave animation is only visible in final exports, but real-time animated water is coming soon. If you have an asset inside of the Envision scene that you want to swap out for a higher quality asset, simply click on the asset. You'll get a new button in the Details panel that will allow you to launch the Cosmos Library. And then from there, you can choose any asset inside the Cosmos Library or an object from inside of your Envision scene to quickly replace any object that you have selected. So you can replace the current selection, or you can replace all instances of that object as well. Update 3 introduces collision objects for your Anima Crowd assets. Click the plus button and select the geometry you want the characters to respect, in this case, the stairs. The crowd will now treat each stair as a collision object, simply regenerate the path. Now, we can click full screen mode and preview exactly how the crowd interacts with the stairs. We've added a new Enscape Navigation preset to make switching easier. Go to Edit, then Preferences, and select the Enscape option under the Navigation Preset tab. For those familiar with Enscape, you will now use the left mouse button to look around, instead of the right mouse button. You can still use WASD keys for movement. Selecting objects is still done with a left mouse click, and you can use the right mouse click to orbit around a selected object. The new coordinate mode toggle lets you precisely position objects. Select an object and look for the World Coordinates option. Pressing M in Enscape mode or T in Envision mode will also toggle this. When on, it uses World Coordinates, Global Scene Axis. When off, it uses Local Coordinates, the object's own axis. This feature ensures much more precise object placement. Dependency views make it easy to see which objects are linked to others. In the Object Lister, a small icon on an object, like this Scatter object, 
indicates it has dependencies. Toggle it down to see the elements within, such as the three objects here. Clicking on the parent object will also select all its dependencies. Items like groups, splines, and sensors will all display this view, allowing you to clearly manage all related objects. The new animated tooltips provide an instant visual guide. Simply hover over certain features to see a quick animated preview of how the tool works. The Chaos AI Enhancer has been updated, giving you more refinement options for people and vegetation. Select a person, like this woman's face, and click Create New. You can now fine-tune the result by setting the creativity and specifying the age group, gender, and ethnicity. You can even choose the facial expression, smiling, neutral, or serious, or adjust the hair color. We'll choose blonde. Click Enhance. The AI will generate a refined, high-quality version of the face. You can easily toggle between the original and the new enhanced versions to see the difference. Update today to experience all these new features, and don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments below.